Hello all, welcome back to this video. If you're new, welcome to the channel. This is for Leaving Cert Chemistry students and it's mostly all calculation based. Um, so far I've made a few videos, three videos or something. And uh, this is the second part of a video that I made before for the washing soda experiment. So this is for the titration playlist that I'm making. And as you can see here, this is just titrations only. And I highly, highly recommend you to go and watch uh, the introduction of titrations video. If you have no idea what are titrations or what to look for, uh, which one is the burette, which one is the pipette, uh, it's very easy for you to see those and understand the very basics. So especially if you're in fifth year, I highly recommend you to go watch that before you continue on with the playlist. All right, so I would ask you to do the questions yourself first and then do it with me so you can just know what you got right, what you got wrong, and what you can improve. And that's the best way, in my opinion, to learn these. And just a reminder, this is more of an advanced version of this question. I did do a basic one beforehand. I'll just add that in the cards above. So make sure you know the basics or else you'll be confused. So one thing that I'm going to ask you to do is, as usual in all my videos, is to highlight what are the main points that you would notice or you want in this question before you answer them. So I'm going to give you a minute to do that while I highlight all the important bits. All right, so I hope you did that and got something similar to mine here. So one of the first things that I need to do when I see a question is to know what is the question about. So this is to find the amount of water molecules in the formula, water of crystallization percentage, um, more specifically. And obviously I need to know what type of chemicals I'm using. So this is hydrated sodium carbonate. Mm, which is washing soda crystals and hydrochloric acid which is previ previously standardized uh, if you don't know what those means do watch the other videos so you'll get an idea i'm not going to cover much theory here because when i was doing my leaving cert again as i say it was the calculations that i had a hard time with so hope this helps and just a reminder i don't want to sound like the other youtubers but if you find these videos helpful at all or if you learn something new please don't um don't mind subscribing or or liking the video so that this will reach more people in need who wants to get better results obviously you wouldn't sit here and watch these youtube videos if you don't want to get better at it all right so let's continue on with the video so whatever i've highlighted here in yellow are the ones that are needed for the math mathematical part of it so those are all the numerical ones so as my chemistry teacher always said the department of education will never put anything in the paper unless you use it in the question itself so every single word is important so as we do this you can just tick off each of the numbers and see if you've used it all if you haven't then there's something wrong all right so let's do the first one first that's question e from the mean volume of the hydrochloric acid solution, calculate the concentration of sodium carbonate, Na2CO3, in the original solution in moles per liter and grams per liter. So whenever I see those words moles and grams, the first thing I think of is my triangle. All right, so this is the triangle that I use to survive chemistry uh, because I just couldn't understand the other ways. So this, this triangle, literally will help you to find this formula that you can use to find whatever you need to find all right so it's asking me to do moles so what do i do i cover moles here so that basically tells me mass divided by mr means molecular mass let's say i want to find the mass the next question i cover mass and that's moles multiplied by molecular mass if i want to find molecular mass then it's mass divided by moles so that's a very handy triangle to know. All right, so let's do the first one. All right, so in the question you can see, it's asking to calculate the concentration of sodium carbonate. When you see concentration, think of this big M. So if you read the question back again from above, you won't see a big M with Na2CO3 next to it. This, this, this 0 0.10 is for HCl. So I don't have one for um, Na2CO3. So I cannot use that formula N equals CV divided by 1000. So that's giving me the clue that I need to use my V1 M1 over N1. So V1 M1 over N1 equals V2 M2 
over and turn. Alright, so I've labeled these Na and HCl. And Na for Na2CO3, you don't have to write the whole thing. We don't have that much time in the exams. So I'm going to look back to see the volume of Na2CO3. So as you read this, there are tricks to find which one is which. If you watch the other videos. So you can see there's 25 cubic centimeters of your um, Na2CO3. Okay, so I'm going to write that down. The molarity is the same as concentration. We don't know that. So I'm going to put that as X. And the reaction ratio is 1. And where do I find that? It's here. You can see here. So the reaction ratio for HCl is 2 is to 1. 2 is to 1. We need that. Keep that in your mind. All right. It's going back. There's that. Next one is 21.6. Is that right? Yep. 21.6 of HCl. So that's the amount that was needed to reach the end point. All right. Going back. Divided by, oh, and 0 0.10. That's the concentration, the big M, and 2. What do you do? Cross multiply. So do this, do this. All right, so when you do that, don't just put it in a calculator. Make sure you write your steps. If you have any slips, you won't lose any marks. So that's 50x equals 2.16. And the molarity at the end is going to be 0 0.0432 moles per liter. Remember, V1, M1 over N1 will always give you your answer per liter. So make sure you check your questions. Uh, don't get it wrong. It's so easy to get, get a mistake. Don't do that. Next up, you have to find grams per liter. Grams per liter is the same as saying mass per liter, and it's always per grams uh, per liter, of course. So what do I have to do? Cover this mass with my post-it or whatever your finger, and you'll know it's moles multiplied by molecular mass. So let's do that. Moles is the same one that we found. It's asking per liter, grams per liter, so you don't have to divide anything. And it's the MR of Na2CO3, so Na23 times 2 plus 12 carbon and oxygen 16 times 3. Write it down. Do not write it as 106. That adds up to 106, but write it down. You will lose marks if you get that wrong by accident. And that will give you 4.5792 grams per liter. Do not round up yet. Um, it's, it's, it's the smallest 0 point something that will change the answer. So don't round it up yet. All right, so that's that done. Next question is calculate the percentage of water crystallization and the value of X. So there's two questions in this one. So make sure you answer both of them. All right, let's find the percentage. Percentage is your small number over the whole number. It's always, you know, small divided by larger number multiplied by 100. All right, so let's find that. We know the mass of crystals is 2.50. So if I write that down here... 2.50 divided by this guy over here, 4.5792 multiplied by 100. That would give me 54.59. I know that's so close to 55. I'm not going to round it up uh, because the marking scheme, for some reason, says stop at 54.4. So it's just those small discrepancies. Make sure you don't lose marks based on that. And some of it is part of luck as well, but you know, don't just <laughs> leave it to chance. All right, next, next up, you have to find the value of X, the average number of water molecules in that formula. Now, the whole reason why I made this video was to share this formula. If you know this particular formula I'm, I'm about to show you, you will not make any mistakes. So let's see what that is. Golden formula, <laughs> this is it. So that's mass of H2O divided by mass of anhydrous whatever. So in this case, it's sodium carbonate. Equals the mass, the molecular mass of H2O X divided by the molecular mass of Na2CO3. Okay, so this one, there's a little bit of trick. So whatever answer you got per grams per liter of Na2CO3, that is anhydrous. What does anhydrous means? Without water. So that's per liter. The only thing with this formula is that you have to use whatever the total amount of solution there is. So in this one, there's 250. If there's 500, you divide it by 2. In this case, you divide it by 4 to get 250. 
So I'm going to divide this 4.5792 by 4 to get per 250. And that would give me that per 250 cubic centimeters. So that's anhydrous Na2CO3. Now, how do you find the mass of water? Now, we do know the total amount of crystals add up to 2.50. So I just have to take away the anhydrous to get the amount of water in that per grams. That gives me 1.3552 grams of H2O. That's the mass of H2O in this question. So I'm going to write that down. That's the mass of water over mass of anhydrous sodium carbonate per 250. So the MR of H2O, so that would be 1 plus 1 plus 16, which is equal to 18x. Don't forget the x. Divided by MR of Na2CO3 which I did before, and that's going to be 106. Don't write 106, write, write it down. 23 times 2 plus 12 plus 16 multiplied by 3. All right, so I'm going to cross multiply because there's an equals between the fractions. And that's going to give up. Again, don't put it in your calculator, do it out. And at the end, you will get 6.9711. Um, I don't really like putting decimals because X is always a whole number. So I just make that 7. So in reality, this crystal that we used, if I can find it, yeah. So the crystal that we used is Na2CO3-7H2O. And that's how you do this question. All credits goes to State Examinations Commission uh, of the Irish Leaving Certificate. And make sure you practice a lot of exams and don't just leave your teacher. <laughs> listen to them and uh, listen to their um tips and tricks and that's how I learned these things and God bless you there is a way through Jesus and he can help you do everything so if there's any more recommendations please do let me know in the comments down below and leave a like subscribe if you like this video and I'll see you in the next one bye